I will be resetting the NHL with a fantasy draft and selecting 20 players to build a team. However, I cannot choose players that have a gold X factor. If a player has silver or no abilities at all, they are eligible. I will then put this team through a franchise mode simulation with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. What team will we be representing in today's draft? We get the Washington Capitals, let's go. Or should I say the Virginia Capitals? Maybe I got trolled and that's not actually a thing, but we'll find out. Believe it or not, the owner will not be telling me what to do. Fantasy draft will be on. Kind of the point. And here we have a returning face. Jabroni. Jabronski. Jabron, if you might. Unfortunately, it's gonna have to be a no from me. I don't know if I mentioned this in the intro, probably not, but the main reason I'm doing this draft is that I saw a team with all silver abilities in the Stanley Cup final, and now that I think about it, they did have Igor Shosturkin in it, so definitely not all silver there. I've also just got a lot going on right now, so any idea, I'm taking. Plus, we still gotta win that Stanley Cup. It's coming home. Oh, draft pick number 11. I didn't even realize Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> well, we're going to get a good player. I mean, we probably could have gotten whoever we're going to get at like 22. Who's the first player I can come across that doesn't have a gold ability? It's probably going to take me a minute here. Mans is going to go off in his first year. Connor Bedard, 87 overall. You are joining the Washington Capitals. I wish. Philip Forsberg, for some reason I thought he got a gold, but no. He's just got the four silvers and he is 90 overall. That's really good. And speaking of, it's coming home. He's coming home. He should be a capital. That trade was horrendous. Oh, he does have a gold. No, for some reason I thought he wasn't gonna have one, but oh well. Say la vie. I'm debating between Uyghur and Verhage. We currently don't have a single defender. Is this the early? Yeah, so we're getting one or the other. We're not getting both. Don't make me regret this decision. I'm going after you, Mackenzie. Just to clarify here, they don't have to have silver abilities. They just can't have a gold. So Bobrovsky fits the bill. He was our goaltender last time. His stats were actually really good. We still just couldn't get it done, but I'm going to rely on him again. Bobrovsky! The fact that Marshy and Ovi are still here is actually ridiculous. Oh, that's good. Anze Kopitar. We still need a first-line player, but you know what, though? $10 million is going to hoit, especially after taking Sergey, but I'm still going to do it. Oh, Latang's eligible as well. Okay, so I'm going to hope that one of these two is still here next round. And for now, I'm going to go with Ekholm because I need someone to play with Mackenzie Wieger. They're both still here. And you know what? I really don't see them going anywhere. Forsling's got to be, right? He doesn't have any abilities. And he's only making 2.6. That is a must grab right now. Okay, somebody did get... Latang. So we are going after Brent Burns. He's got four abilities, right defenseman. Our top four is going to be disgusting. Can we afford this cap hit? No, not really. But well, that's a problem for later me. And by later me, I mean five minutes from now me. Yeah, I'm doing it. Tom Wilson, first line right winger. He'd be playing with Bedard and Forsberg. Ooh, we need a sniper bad. And how about that? Gus Nyquist, right wing sniper. Wait, Bedard's a sniper though, isn't he? Okay, that's interesting. Maybe we should go after Tom Wilson then. Because he and Philip Forsberg could help out Bedsy with the TDRs. And he could stand up for Bedsy as well, you know? Someone's trying to go after him. Tim Winston's like, I don't think so. All right, I've convinced myself. Here we go. Okay, so this is very ideal. No one took Nyquist. Our picks were only like six apart there. But 3.1, 85 overall, right wing sniper. Welcome aboard, Gus. Jordan Eberle's got two abilities. I do want to try and get as many as possible. 5.5 would bring us under... Ooh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Don't worry. I think pretty much every player I draft needs to be making almost league minimum. And Eric Gustafson is 83 overall, making 825k. So that is awesome. Two more centers that I want to grab right here, Henrik and Taves. I will start with Taves and come back for Henrik. Hopefully he's still there. And sure enough, he is. All right, our center core is going to be nuts. Just trying to budget here. Is this even possible? I take Flower. That cuts our salary pretty much in half. If I can find four players making league minimum... I think it works. We are going to be scarily close to the cap, but I'm risking it. Blake Wheeler at 800k is actually very ideal. That is awesome. I remember I was getting kind of roasted for playing it too safe. Nope. We're trying to squeeze players in last minute here. Pat Maroon won three Stanley Cups in a row. 
I believe. Let's see if he gives us the juice. Two players left and 2.1 million. I would take Shattenkirk, but... I believe Gustafson was an offensive defenseman, so I'm not pairing those two together. Maybe an offensive defenseman with a defensive defenseman, Zach Bogosian. And he is making 850k, so let's give it a whirl. This will actually give us more cap space than I thought. I was confident that we were going to have pretty much 0.1 left, and we're kind of close to that, but... Corey Perry, 775, let's go. Here's a look at our draft summary. Honestly, guys, this is a great team. We should have the rookie of the year in Connor Bedard. Forsberg's great. Yeah, I'm excited for this one. I also kind of feel like this is a unique team, which is cool. Okay, we got two plus twos here. They want Gus on the second line. They want Tom Wilson all the way down here. Hmm. I can get behind this, actually. Yeah, Huberto could be on the first line. Then we have the two-way forward sniper playmaker combination. That is awesome. I did not draft you. You could play on the team. You're not going to, but you could. Who scratched? What? Oh, this can work actually because believe it or not, Blake Wheeler has 80 face-offs and he's right wing slash center. And then Pat Maroon is left wing slash right wing. Corey Perry's a right winger. Boom. That is ideal. Can our defense just be all zeros? That's all I ask. I don't want a lot here. Okay, okay, we got one, two, and then dash one. I could move Forsling up and make it zero, zero, but I think I'd rather have the plus two and the plus one because realistically, this last pairing probably won't get too much ice time. Wait a minute. He shoots right. Get him over there. Yeah, and then we have righty lefty, Brent Burns with Forsling. Okay, and in net we have... Bobrovsky, they want to start Flurry. A lot of silver abilities on this team. Who is going to get the most points is the golden question. I'm going to say that Bedsy does get the most and he's going to put up 88. And I will say the squadron makes the playoffs with 44 wins. Let's simulate. All right, we start out 0-2 and a massive loss there against Calgary, but we're rebounding here. 4-2-0, how about it? Oh, let's go. We are on one right now, an absolute melter. Columbus ruined it. You ruined it. See, if we're doing good now, Bedsy's only gonna get better as the year goes on. Thank you for that central scout. Guess who doesn't care? This guy. Obviously things can change on a whim, all right? We could have a random TSN turning point, but right now we definitely appear to be playoff bound at minimum. So we have another chance here. Thanks again, Pro Scout. If this is the team to end the drought, I'm all for it. I welcome that possibility with open arms. And you know what? I am probably getting my hopes up a little bit too much here. I need to settle down. Enter the trade deadline. Maybe we could pick up another defenseman for... Ooh. That is kind of tempting. The only thing is with our salary, it's going to be real tough to make a trade go through. So... I'm going to believe in the boys. Why do you have Byfield on the block? That is a bold strategy by the Golden Knights. 35 wins at the deadline is pretty good. I think we do have a team in our division that's doing amazing. That is a hefty price for Brock Nelson. Harley Monahan and a fourth going to Ottawa for two firsts. What is happening? Maury Leller and a fifth to the jerks for Reinbacher and a first. Bo Horvat and a seventh are now a part of the Colorado organization in exchange for a first, Cataford and Phillips. We got another one. Stroman Lindholm belonged to the Kenegens for two firsts. What? No post-trade deadline collapse for this squad. We are on fire. Can the scouts please leave me alone for 10 seconds? That's all I ask. Second in the division. Oh, yeah. Look at this team go. Way more wins than I thought. If we win out, no, couldn't pull it off. 47 wins on the year. We end with three L's, but hey, we're in, so we have a shot. So New Jersey was just insane. 118 points. I'm going to say there's a very good chance they won the President's Trophy. We were second in the division with 104, and then Carolina snuck in with 92. So this is our first round opponent. I'm a fan of that. Are you kidding me? We finished second in the entire league. New Jersey did get the President's then, yeah. By a landslide. Tampa Bay got snubbed so hard. That hurts. They finished 12th in the league and didn't make it. Not my playoff system. A horrendous season for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Let's see what they got here. They got Beneers, Pasta, and Raymond. Wyatt Johnston playing with Dano and Nichushkin. 
Why'd this team do so bad? Maybe their goaltender was nervous or something? I don't know. Philippe, you absolute icon. 94 points was a plus 11. 57 apples. We see 39 tucks from Bedsy, who is now 89 overall. Love that. Kopitar is still 88. Huberto, 85. Jonathan Taves was the third line center, no? He had no business having 58 points, but I'll take it. Bobrovsky's stats are okay. 909, 297. Flower also didn't really have the best, but he had four shutouts, which is really weird. I guess that tells me that he was either on or he was off. Brent would be a dash 13, but have 51 points. Forcing at 34, Ekholm 32. You did disappoint me, I can't lie. Apparently, I should have taken Verhege. Aiden Hill and Freddy tied with 42 wins, but Freddy did it in way less games. 78, you know, that is redonkulous. Six shutouts for Freddy, five for Aiden. 904 compared to a 920. What is the difference between, like why? Would they sort Aiden Hill higher? There's got to be some kind of tiebreaker. All right, I feel like we've had a few seasons where we didn't really see defensemen getting a lot of points, but Kale McCarr, 100 flat, 92 assists. We see 30. 30 goals, Dougie. What? 30 goals and point a game. That is unheard of. I'm not going to overlook Fox at 91, but like I kind of am because that just totally stole my attention. Matthews gets the rocket, Richard, and... I don't think the Art Ross is split, so I forget what the tiebreaker on that is, but it looks like Pappy's most likely gonna win it. He was the only one to even break 50. That's absurd. Here's the team that won the President's Trophy. They have Hurdle, Zabeniad, and Svech. Great first line. Pavelski, Johnny T, and Perfetti. That's interesting. They have Alex Leferriere. Yeah, their depth is all right. Defensively, they have Kale McCarr. That's all you got to know. But then they do have 385. So, yeah, this is kind of making sense. And net, they got Freddie. We saw that. Cam Talbot is the backup. Holy. And now it's time to look at our first round victim. We have the Carolina Hurricanes here. Jeffrey Skinner playing with Nico Heischer and Hatrick Kane. Can't really go wrong with that second line. But I feel like our depth is a little bit better. And even probably our top end talent. Well, yeah, I think so. Okay, maybe not. And I now understand why Morgan Riley was on the block, because look at this defensive core. They brought back Kachekov, and we're playing capital Charlie Lindgren. This will be an interesting one. First three games, everybody knows the rules. How will we do against the Carolina Hurricanes? That's not a good start. Okay? Okay. Nice. I love that. Game four. Make it a dub. Make it a dub. Mmm, that's a big L, too. Can we go up 1-0 in the best of three? Don't. Please don't. This is becoming crazy. We always have good seasons. We were second in the entire league this time. I think last draft we won the President's Trophy, or maybe that was a couple drafts ago. But still, we continue to have good teams. And then the playoffs come around, and we turn into a bunch of choke artists. Patrick Kane opens the scoring on the power play. Power play for Washington, and we can't capitalize. Where are you, Bezzy? Start doing some toe drags out there. And release it while you're at it. 34 shots and we finally score. Gus Nyquist tying it up at one. And this game won't even win us the series. We gotta beat Carolina here just to beat them again. I can't lie, this is actually kind of making me mad now. It's getting out of control. Sure, just add an empty netter, Riley. How about that? Another loss in the first round. I'm at a loss for words. We don't have the words and we know you don't want to hear them. Wow, I stopped just in time. So we need to go look at Florida and Chicago's roster. Chicago has J-Rob, Couturier, and Farabee. And then they got Cooley, Kent Johnson, and Brady Kachuk. Their bottom six isn't great, but top six is pretty good. Their defense is okay. If they don't have like a 98 overall goaltender, I'm going to lose it. Huh? You're basically just admitting to me that this game is random. There's no point of trying to draft a team strategically because it don't matter. Barkov, Lafreniere, and Troy Terry. They got Boone the Bounty Hunter, Ridley. Like, what is this second line? That is outrageous. You can't be serious. You cannot be serious right now. Okay, yeah, whatever. What a joke. Will Florida take it home? Nope, it is 3-2, and now it is a W. Coachella Valley Firebirds, your Calder Cup champions. Our first line wasn't great in the playoffs. Bedsy with only four points. Didn't have a single goal. Eberly did great. Bobrovsky was not it. 893 
and nearly a 370 GAA. You cannot win with those numbers. Defense subpar as expected. Stuart Skinner playing for the Florida Panthers, which is kind of ironic. A 924 save percentage. Uko Pekka was doing unbelievable until his team got put out. Justice for Stewie. I'm saying it preemptively because I already know he didn't get the con Smythe. Not really a whole lot of points from defensemen here. Yossi was almost point a game. And Mo had a plus 15, which is crazy. J-Rob's team did not win the Stanley Cup. So even though he had 30 points in 21 games, he ain't winning the con Smythe. Barkov is likely to get it. 25 points. Ridley... I just don't know anymore. I don't know. Actually, you know what? It's kind of getting to a point where I'm not as surprised as I should be. Hard heart combo, intact. Austin Matthews. Crushed it. Kel McCarr gets the Norris. No surprise there. Adam Fox with the Lady Bing. There it is. We did get the Calder. Ridley got the Con Smythe. In what world? Georgiev got the Vesna and the Jennings. Clevin with the Bill Masterton. Congratulations, you won a Jack Adams. Selkie season for Barkov. Matthews grabs another one, and how about one more, just for good measure. Your playoff tree, ladies and gentlemen, we got first rounded, and then the team that we lost to lost to the eventual Stanley Cup winning Florida Panthers. Did Florida? Okay, I was gonna say, they go to six in every series? Nope, they swept round one. I can only see two series that went to seven. The Sharks and the Jets, and then the Ducks and the Blues. Well, again, thank you for watching. If you could delete that like button, that would be tremendous. If you could subscribe too, that'd be great. Do it on a trial basis, you know? Just hit subscribe, maybe the bell while you're at it. And if you decide in a week, you know what? This guy sucks, I don't want to be here anymore. A simple click away from being that. If you have other draft ideas, let me know down below. If you tried this draft, let me know how yours went. Is it just me, or is it really hard to win a Stanley Cup in this game? Because I feel like I'm drafting good teams here. During the season, we do great, and then the playoffs come around, and we just suck. I don't know what happens. I appreciate you as always, and I will see you soon.